So we're going to look at a different option for doing subtraction with renaming. Yesterday I showed you one way, and we practiced it. Today I'm going to show you another way, and it's like showing you all the shoes in the store, okay? If this pair of shoes works for you, then run with it, and as long as you get to the right answer at the end of the race, we're okay. So, mixed fractions with renaming, as you saw yesterday, is a little tricky, right? Yeah, yeah it is. But once you get the hang of it, it's like riding a bike. You don't get on the bike and think about, oh, i got to push the pedals with my feet, and then I have to steer, and then I have to stop doing this. You just end up kind of doing it after a while. This is the same thing. So we're going to start out with a problem. Let's do 1 and 1 eighth minus 3 fourths. This one's going to be pretty easy. So yesterday we practiced this and we've been practicing this all week. We've got to start with our least common denominator because I can't have that eighth and fourth, fourth work together. So if I look at the multiples of four and the multiples of eight, four, eight, eight, most of you guys are not having to do this anymore because you're kind of seeing the patterns. Are we good there? So yesterday I showed you how to make a improper fraction and then subtract. Today I'm going to show you a different way to do it. If I have a dollar and I want to break that dollar into dimes, is that fairly easy to do? Yeah, if I go to the little corner market and I give the guy a dollar and say, hey, I need some dimes, he'll give them to you. You'll get ten dimes. What if I wanted quarters? Would the guy at the market give me four quarters? Yeah. Yeah, yeah he's nice. Now, if you go in there with like $50 and you want quarters, he will tell you to go to the bank. But for the most part, we can get other change with a dollar, right? Yeah. What if I had a $10 bill? Can I go to the guy and say, hey, I need some ones? Yeah. Yeah, sure. He may not have enough in his cash register, but I can do ones as well. So when you're doing fractions with renaming, there's another way you can do it. I'm going to take my dollar, and I'm going to give it to the guy, and I'm going to change it to a zero. So now after I do this, can I take this one hole and break it up into some change? Yeah. yeah. What if I broke it up into eight eighths just like that? Could I do that? Yeah. Is eight eighths still one hole? Yeah. Yeah. It's like taking all those dimes and making it back into a dollar. You can do it. So I'm going to take this 1 eighth and 8 eighths and put them together. How many eighths do I have? 9 eighths. Nine eighths. Nine eighths. Now I'm going to make the 3 fourths into eighths so he can play with the other eighths. 4 times 2 is 8. 3 times 2 is 6. Can I do 9 eighths minus 6 eighths now? Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. 9 minus 6 is 3 eighths. Done. Is it starting to click? Yeah. Yeah. All right, I'm going to show you another one. Yesterday I showed you whole numbers over a mixed fraction. This is what it looks like for this, okay? If I have three dollars, could I take one dollar and give it to the guy and say, hey, I need to break this up into quarters? Yeah. So I'm going to change the three into a two because you've got to give him the dollar, otherwise you're taking his money. And if I take this dollar and I split it into fourths, how many fourths am I going to have? Four fourths. Four fourths. Now, can I do four fourths minus one fourth pretty easily? Yeah. Yeah. It's three fourths. Wow. Can I do two minus one? Yeah. Yep. And I'm done. Oh, that's tough. I'm going to show you one more as an example, and then we're going to just practice this together a few times, okay? Okay. 
So let's do another kind of mixed one. Let's do two and five eighths minus one and seven eighths. I'm not going to do the least common denominator on this one, guys, because I just want you to practice doing the steps, okay? So five eighths minus seven eighths, no can do, because two and five eighths are part of each other. Could I take a dollar away from this pile and make some change? I'm going to add eight eighths to five eighths. How many eighths do I have? Eight. 8 plus 5 is 13 eighths. Now, am I able to do 13 minus 7? So I have 6 eighths, and 1 minus 1 is 0, so I've got nothing here. It's okay. Am I done? No. No. What do I need to do, Mally? Simplify it. Simplify it. Well, I don't have words here that say don't forget to simplify your problem. Should I wait until I have words that tell me what to do? No. no. When do we simplify in fifth grade? Every oh. single time. Every single time. Every chance. So if you have an even on the top and bottom, what are we going to do? Divide by two. On this one, dividing by two is the only option. So I come up with three 